Growing up with autism can be challenging and difficult and it's unaware that people probably think I've not got autism and that. Well, I've got to tell you all today. I've got autism since age of two and I couldn't really talk and I used to do sign language like good morning, no, that's good afternoon while I'm up it and this is good morning. And I used to do similar languages like that until I was at the age of five or six. And then I start speaking properly towards people. Throughout the years, I made friends and stuff, and sometimes it can be difficult and understanding how to socialise with others. Um, with me, I found it quite difficult at first because I couldn't talk properly still until age five and six. I wished, I wished they could understand me. What they did was some of them were a bit ignorant. Anyway, I went to special needs schools throughout the life and it's been fine but what I, got, what I think was at that time in schools I was considered as a normal person so anyone can be normal but what is normal person so I think when I was growing up I was like smart and kind of intelligent if that makes sense I knew what, knew what I was saying I knew how I do things at work in classes and stuff and my friends and that used to ask me for help and that to just solve their problems and stuff which it's just a kind thing to do you know what I mean but I don't like that calling myself normal because what is normal anyone can be normal and also growing up in school you used to get a name called all the time pretty much um, disable this disable that um, why are you weird or how can you f talk funny when you talk you know what I mean Obviously, I defend myself and say what I got to say to the faces, and most people didn't like my responses, so forget them. You know what I mean? Be yourself. Don't change anyone. Just don't change anyone in the world. Throughout my adult life, um, obviously it got more easier because I could talk more fluently, and what I'm saying, communication's gone more better. Um, but then sometimes there can be a bit anxiety at times around people, especially with my condition nowadays. I was a bit cautious of my chest and my line, lines there. Most annoying thing I think was, and currently, is where people don't see me as got disability. I feel like I don't want to say it anyway, because sometimes I can meet ignorant people and try and patronise you and treat you differently in a way, and that's why most people don't even mention their disability, because they might get judged or even lower themselves. Even though I'm really independent, I know I'm doing money and that, well, and sometimes a little bit, I do ask people for help, even my mum at home, or just questions that I don't really know. It's okay to ask, it's normal, everyone's like that. So, even when I got to 17 years old and my mother was saying to me, I need a job and that now, so obviously I was a bit cautious because I never had a job before in my life and it was quite difficult to apply. At the time, I had no experiences, even volunteer work, I had volunteer work from school, but that wasn't enough really. And Throughout the work life I had, even currently, sometimes staff were a bit unsure of my abilities and asking questions about what my skills are and how you do things at work. I had this before from my other job at the school when I um, was doing a task. And then she's lovely as, as she is, this person. Um, she was like, oh, do I can't do that? Or do I can do something else but more easier? I was like, well, I can do it, but I feel like she'd done that because she doesn't want me to stress or anything like that, really. She's caring, but I'd rather, I'd rather say I say it instead of her saying it for me, instead of treating me like a baby. But yeah, work life for me, it has been fun and it has its moments, but I think sometimes you got to know when you need to ask help at work. No point being vulnerable and be stuck and let yourself get frustrated and see the staff seeing you like what's up with him or her and sometimes I had this before I applied for some jobs and then they accept me because of my disability which is a bit disgusting and no one, no one should be discriminated about who you are and that's why you never give up on your dreams and what job you, off, you want to go for. So I ring them up sometimes and say can we arrange the interview again and see any difference for the second time and most of the time I got the job because they understand where I was coming from. If you've got any stories about your disability or some of the situations that I have or currently, 
Leave a comments down below and I will read and respond to you. Thank you for listening. See you soon.